For this video, I'll be walking you through how to style card posts in plain CSS. I'll be showing you how to style vertical blog posts, a simple gradient shopping item card, and a housing listing post. With these three examples, I'll share with you some best practices when it comes to styling cards, simple techniques to let you leverage the power of CSS without introducing extra HTML, and so much more. Let's jump into it. I have here some important setup stuff for the body in order to center the card on the right panel here. Light background, sans serif, font family, and base font size of 16. As always, box size every element on the page, and this time I removed the mouse selection style, and I have here a special style to hide anything with the attribute hidden, which has no value. I'll start with the HTML for vertical blog post, and all these cards have the class of card. It's going to be a simple H3 tag with two paragraph tags. I'll also include an image tag and an anchor tag at the end. Your minimal blog post HTML markup. I will give you some simple demo purpose title and I already have a link for the image, which is a random image I got in a Google search result. Don't forget to give your image tags alternative text content and it can be the blog post title or the description of the image. I'll generate Lauren text for the first paragraph of 20 words and for the second paragraph, I'll state how long ago this post was published and a typical read more label for the link button. Now back to CSS, the first thing I'll fix is force every image on the page to always take 100% of available space. Another thing I always do for H tags and paragraph tags is remove their margin top. Note that I'm using CSS preprocessor SCSS to be specific, and I'll start with a card class selector and nested will be the blog post, which I'll make 350 wide display flex and make content flow from top to bottom with flex direction of column. I'll space things from the edge with padding of 20 and give you some background so we can see it. The body is a very light gray or dirty white per se, and we need something slightly darker. So triple E will do. I can zoom in since it's very subtle for you to see. To emphasize the card, I'll box shadow it with a slightly darker tone, which sits well between these two. Always use a color similar to the background to create shadow in a darker tone so it appears more natural. One thing you may run into is what if I want my image before the title? You may just go ahead and flip the order in HTML, but I say if you can accomplish the same with CSS, you should always prefer to do it with CSS and not change HTML. Don't create HTML for styling purposes unless you really have to. So to do that, all I got to do is give image an order of negative one and it switch side with a title. And now I want my image to take full width of the card covering the whole top part of the card. Another thing that devs often do is introduce markup to accomplish this, like wrapping the bottom part in the diff, giving it the padding and remove the padding on the card. We can accomplish that with negative margin of negative 20 on the left and top since the padding is 20 pixels and I'll make the bottom margin 15 pixels. And to make it take a full width, I'll use the calc function of 100% and add 40 pixels, which is 20 pixels for each side. And like that, we get the desired effect. Let me know if you know any other way to tackle this with less CSS. I'm going to bring the title and description closer together and capitalize it. And for contrast, I want my description a little faded and I'll make the publish info smaller and even more faded as well. Now for the link button, dark background with white text, give it some padding, remove the line under, capitalize it and center the text as well. I'll run this corner since sharp edge button do not appear natural or friendly sometimes. Then I'll distance it from the content above just a little. There is some improvements we can do here, like spacing the letters which appear too close together on this font. Let's also do something about the title font in text. I'm going to pick a font, something the browser comes with. I like this WebKit body one here. Nice thick letters and some nice serifs which uh, make this look professional. I'll also increase the size of it as well, maybe 2M, uh, maybe 2M is too big. Same thing for the paragraph as well. 
this emoji and fang sun seem to be about the same i'll go with the fang sun and adjust its size as well seems like i had a m unit in opacity value here with that i'm fine with the results so let's move on to the next post so for this one it will be a shopping item you need to add to cart and the html is pretty simple like a, a image tag a paragraph for price and a button i already grabbed the image link from some google search results and i picked one with transparent background again don't forget the image alternative text i'll make it to the 99 for price some expensive headphones right here i actually don't even know this brand then for the button a add to cart label pretty simple stuff right here to fence up with CSS the first thing I do is make it 300 by 400 because I wanted a little tall card and give it a debugging CSS background color for now and I feel like the image is too far up so I'll give the card some top padding and round the card corners to make it a friendly post shape now let's have fun with the background and I'll give it some random three color stop linear gradient and figure it out in the browser. And I'm just going to experiment with color here, but I want a transition from white to a semi dark color. This seems fine, but maybe I can increase the white portion a little so the product stands out more. I'll be positioning absolute the button and price. So I'll make the card relative position. Now, if you look at this button, it comes with default browser styling so i'll first flush everything by removing appearance border background and outline and also give it a pointer cursor that browsers don't um, to give buttons like that the button is now plain and ready to be styled i'll start with the price by removing the margins and positioning it absolute bottom left 20 pixels make it white and double its font size but it feels a little too big so I'll make it slightly smaller that should do for the button i'll position it absolute bottom right and i'm gonna start with some scratch background and control the alpha of the color to make it semi-transparent some padding for dimension and to better see the button let's round its corner a little and go play with it in the dev tools I'm looking for a color not too different from the background, then I'll make it see through. Let me play with the position just a little. And give it a hover state as well. Same color, just different degree of opacity. Let's also not forget that nice transition as well. Overall, this does not look bad, but it does not feel like a happy card. So let's see if I can change that by changing the background gradient. This is better and the headphone contrast is nice, but I'll have to fix the button now. So one second there. Okay, now the headphones stand out a little more and the card color make it look modern and happy or attractive. Um, one thing we can adjust is what if the user wants to see the product page? For that, I'll wrap the image in an anchor tag where you would put the link to the purchase page to go see the item in more details like color options and more images. With that, we can click the button to add to the cart and click on the image to see the product. Now for the final card, I'll show you a sort of Airbnb post and it will contain a figure with an image tag inside, a div for description where I'll put the heading and the paragraph. Then another div for details of the house where I put the paragraph for the price. Another for rating with five spent tags for rating stars. Again, a paragraph for some house details. And finally, a button for booking actions. For the image, I'll copy it, a link to the house image I found. I'll generate heading and description. I'll make this house 45 per hour. Then set amount of reviews it received. 
for this price it must be a lot then i'll list some stuff it provides like wi-fi parking space some food ac and heat sounds good with the book now button label now let's style this postcard i'll make it wide 500 pixels sounds about right and this time i'll use display grid to structure the card and if we look at this card there are three direct children elements and i want the figure vertically on the left and on the right i want the others horizontally stacked so i'll give the figure some grid row start one and rows end to span two rows seems like it did not work oh i forgot to set the grid templates so for the column i'll need two columns where the first one will be 150 pixels and the other can take the rest of the available space since the figure image will be on the left it will be the one taking 150 pixels of the space for the row i want anything to take any available space so i'll set it to one fr now if we inspect this figure we see margin so i'll first remove that and make the position relative so i can position the image absolute and also hide overflow now for the image i'll make it absolute center and to do that i'll set the left and top 50 percent and negative 50 percent on transform translate now i'll make the image 100 percent height for it for it to take full available vertical space the image appears stretched because the width of every image is set to be 100 percent so i'll set object fit to cover but another way to also accomplish this is to set the width auto and like that the image is centered to make the card friendly i'll run its corner and hide overflow as well and it's looking good uh looking at this i don't even need this grid row start one since that's the default and i also did not have to do anything on the other two boxes to say where they should go which makes display grid just magical now for the description box i'll space things inside with 20 pixels and make the title on and the description smaller in size the space between them is too big so I'll make it five pixels and remove the paragraph margin altogether i'll give it a subtle background color for the card and some light blue for the details part also space things here with 20 pixels i will position the button absolute so i need position relative here i'll also make all text smaller as well display flex and vertical align the text then remove all the margins as well for the first paragraph which contains the price i'll make it text bold and adjust the spacing in between the letters because it appears way too close let's make it bigger as well so it stands out more for this i'll distance it five pixels from the bottom content now for the rating let's style the stars first display in line blocks so width and height will make effect i found a nice star image on google for this and i'll position it top zero left zero 100 percent width and no repeat to see the stars i'll make it 20 by 20 and five pixels right margin i'll make the font smaller for the ratings and distance 10 pixels from the bottom content now for the last paragraph, I'll make it even smaller, fade the text a little, and capitalize every word. Now the button I'll position absolute top right, 20 pixels, some background color to start, some padding to give dimension, round its corner a little. Now let me find a better background color. With that, the car looks perfect. Let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit bell so you don't miss out on new videos. Once again, thanks for watching, catch the next one, bye bye.